everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I have another homeschooling video for you guys today. If you like homeschooling videos, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I try to make homeschooling videos as often as possible as well as my regular content. So um, if you guys enjoy homeschooling videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I'll know to try to do more of them. Today's video is actually something that has been like scaring me and worrying me for years now and it's basically how to keep grades for your kids. If you don't know already, I have a 13 year old and a 7 year old. My 13 year old is getting ready to start 8th grade and my 7 year old is getting ready to start 2nd grade. I am so excited to tell you this is like one of the most exciting homeschool epiphanies and breakthroughs I've ever had and I have figured out how to keep grades with a free program that does not require me to pay anything or subscribe to any kind of a website because there are grading programs and grading websites out there that you can use that I think from what, a lot, from what I've seen a lot of them cost something. This does not cost anything. It was actually created by a homeschool mom who created it for her children and she has been sweet enough to share it on the internet. I mean I don't know her. I just happened to find it by googling. But it seems like it's a great program. It is free and it does everything for you. So this is pretty amazing. I'm super excited to have found it. I can't wait to start using it and I thought I would share it with you guys in case you're in the same boat as me. You have no idea how to keep grades. You don't know which program to use. Do you get, a, do you get software? Do you subscribe to some kind of website that does that for you? So hopefully this video will be helpful for you guys. So I'm going to link in the description box the website where I found this free grade with this free grade keeping download. I'll have that in the description box below. Oh, let me show you how the program works and you get a better idea of that right now. So this is what you're gonna see after you download the program. There's a couple different download options and I had mine to download an open office because that's the type of word processing application that I have on my Mac. Um, I think there is an application for other types of processing software as well. But this is the important part for me because it comes with instructions that I printed out so that I would know what I was doing when I was filling in each of the different parts of this spreadsheet. Then you have your summary. This is what's going to populate once you have entered in all your information about your different courses and the grades and the credits and your days in attendance and the name of your school and the name of your student and the school year. This is what's going to populate as you make changes to the spreadsheet each day, each week, and each month, this is what's going to change and you're going to be able to populate something like this um, just by entering in information that you're, going to, that you're going to be putting in down in these different tabs. So the next tab is attendance and you're going to basically just fill in the days you're going to be in school, leave your holidays blank, leave your weekends blank, whatever, however you want to set up the way that you do your school each day. Um, this is just going to keep track. So let's say here we just enter a 1 and as you can see it changes up here the school day. So it's just a really good way to keep attendance. So basically the next tabs are the subjects that are based on my oldest daughter's curriculum. But you can name these whatever you want by just double clicking on it and naming them whatever you want. Because when you actually download this it will say Course 1, Course 2, Course 3. So I have changed all of these names to suit my daughter's curriculum. But just to give you an example of this particular, like just to, just to give you an example of how you will enter the information into the different tabs. So for the first one here, we have geography, your student's name, and your school year. That has just automatically populated from where you entered it, where you entered it in over here. Um, if you want to assign this a credit, if it's for high school, you can go ahead and do that there. You can type in your course description, the resources that you used. All that goes right here. And then this is really exciting because you can weight the grades however you want. So you can do 100% daily, you can split it among all these other things, and you can rename these as well. So if you have one that you want to say class participation or oral reports or anything like that, you can um, edit these as well to say whatever you want. So let's just say for today, we're going to enter in, whoops. So we're going to enter in today's date, and let's say that, you know, this particular subject, she's only graded on her daily work, which she's not, but let's just say that. Um, so let's say she got 100 today, she got a 90%, so it's just going to keep changing these fields as you add things in to these different rows. It keeps changing it for you, and if you go back over here and look, it has also updated it over here um, in the report card. So that's basically what you're going to do for each of these tabs. You're going to rename them to your kid's subject. You're going to decide how you want to weight them. You're going to enter your course description, the credits, and then you're just going to record the grades that they get every single day. 
So you have quite a few tabs for that. I've actually got one left over over there. Um, I don't know why those got out of order. You can even keep track of a book list, whether it's things that you want your child to read that year or books that they actually completed reading that year. You can put that here. Activities, they have any extracurricular activities that are something you can count towards homeschooling credits or you can want to put on their resume or something like that. Volunteer work, anything like that you can put here. You can also record field trips, which is nice. And then here is the grade report again. So it tells you how many credits you've received, the grade the child has gotten, and it's even got a grading scale here. Um, it, it, it will have a total of school days, you know, once you've done that and entered all your days in. So it just keeps everything really nice and organized. Now, this next tab is course list. This is not finished, obviously, because this is just kind of a sample spreadsheet. This is not my actual daughter's spreadsheet that we use. But if you had completed all of these tabs and you had put course descriptions for all of these things, then every single one of these categories would have a course description and resources used um, information in each of these rows. So that's really good to keep track of what you've used in the past. It's really good if you have to turn in reports to the state of what your kid is doing and what references and resources that you're using. This is a good way to keep that because it populates all that for you. So it's just really user friendly, I think, and I'm excited to have found it because it's going to make a huge difference in being able to keep grades, field trips, attendance, and transcripts all in one place that I just enter the things once and everything populates on their own. I think that's pretty awesome. So I wanted to share this with you guys in case you were looking for a grading type of software or you didn't know what to do for grading. This is definitely a great option. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Obviously, you're probably going to want to download it and play around with it a little bit more just to get a better um, feel for how it works besides just watching me talk about it. If it is helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in the download, check the description box below. And let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.